Yes. Here. And I might just fill out the spaces with onions. Because as you know, when you... Welcome to the channel, guys. My name is Marie, if you're new here. And this here is my container garden. And right here, I have my onions farthest from you guys. And right up on their noses here are my garlics, my hopefuls, guys, that I have planted here. And they're just looking amazing. Onions are even looking better, guys, but we're hopeful. I planted these a couple weeks ago with you. I'll provide you with a reminder in the form of this clip. These I've had in the fridge, and my fridge literally freezes, and they're growing. Guys, they are growing. I had it in the fridge let me just show you where I had it right here in the door of my fridge and when I went to get them just now guys they are growing I I am not going to pay attention to the fact that we're in a tropical country and we don't have winter these garlics they just went through their winter yeah and so they're going to go I make a row in the middle here and then I'm going to plant my my garlic now the garlic has two ends the flat end that's where the roots grow and the pointy end that is where the leaf grows you can remove the top of the dry thingy the skin if you want it to pop through easier but there's no need to the garlic will come up so you place the flat end down so let's do that and i'm putting it just a little below the surface of the soil just a little now this one that's growing i'm gonna allow it to continue peak out and i'm putting them about six inches Four to six inches apart yes awesome awesome and then I'm just going to cover them so these are going to grow now and they're going to give me I'm sure I'm going to need to fertilize these to get them to do their best <clears throat> so please let me know in the comments what should I use to fertilize them because there are so many things that I grow and grow them very effectively and efficiently but those are things I grow up we don't grow garlic in the country we just go to the market and buy garlic but we need to change that we need to grow more of what we use and what we eat as if others can grow it to sell us, guys. We, we can grow it ourselves. And I've seen it grown elsewhere. So why not at Farming on the Rocks when we use it every day? It can be done. So yes, and I'll put on the screen exactly how long ago these were planted. And also, I will... Um, Put the link to the video in the description all right so they're at the stage now where i believe it's full time they get their first dose of feeding guys i am so proud of this i am super proud of how these garlics are looking i have been planted gar i have been planting garlics in my garden ever since i started planting because i I am aware that it um, deters some bugs, but I have never planted a set that looked this good. And so I am super proud of these ones. Not to mention the onions. We'll get to the, those shortly. But let us just 
let me show you what I use to fertilize, what I'll be fertilizing these with. Guys, I'm on the rocks, literally, trying to balance like mountain goat. <laughs> All right, so I'm using two animal manure today. I'm trying to make sure I don't fall over, guys. All right, first one. is my rabbit manure and this one is cured has been curing for a long while i've had this for a good while now just sitting so i'll be um putting some of this on it and i'm also going to use some ground eggshells for some for calcium same thing that you'd get from bone meal you will get that from eggshells i'm going to use that um, at a later date guys garlic takes nine months to be ready so i have time to feed them <laughs> all right so i'm going to just put some of the rabbit manure on there first there are some spaces in these containers one garlic didn't grow in here all of these five grew two didn't grow here and i might just fill out the spaces with onions because as you know when you garden in containers you really do, don't have containers to waste so i might not might i'm going to sow some onions in there to, to take up those pieces so yeah i'm super proud of these guys guys in the caribbean is hot and especially where I live in Jamaica, guys, it, the temperatures can really get up there. But I have seen where persons have successfully grown garlic in warmer climates. Not just where you have snow in the winter. So I believe, guys, that I can successfully grow the garlic. Seeing that I, um, I started them out in a cool environment. And if they don't produce several cloves and I get a big, a bigger clove than the one I planted, I count it a blessing and a success as long as I don't get back the same little teeny peg of garlic that I planted. All right, so that is the rabbit manure. And then garlic prefers to be in deep mulch. So I'm going to mulch the garlic containers with chicken manure and wood chips you look we call it sawdust more than like you most of you refer to this as wood chips so i'm going to mulch the garlic with this so the soil keeps moist throughout the day they're looking so good guys And um, when I prepared these containers, I made very little holes in there so that the soil don't dry up too quickly. Because that's a problem I have gardening containers. The soil dries out so quickly when I have too many drain holes in there. So I, I put very little drain holes so that I can have the moisture sitting in the containers and keeping the, the garlic cooler throughout the days. And it has been working. It has been working well for me. Yes, guys. Don't be scared to give, to give new things a try because sometimes you, you succeed at it. So don't be scared to try. Can't fail unless you try, right? <laughs> I remember when I just started planting cabbage because I used to just plant 
Kalalukas growing up in the country. You buy cabbage and you plant Kalalu. And I was just so scared that I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to grow them. And then one day I just decided, look, I am going to plant cabbage. And guys, to be honest, when I planted the first set, none of them folded. I didn't I get just leaves, basically. No nice pretty heads. I never gave up guys. I just continued trying until I succeeded. Alright. Alright, so hopefully we see another growth sprout <laughs> from these. And we're getting a little rain thankfully. So the rain water will also fertilize these for me. So many benefits from watering with rainwater, but sometimes we just don't have rainwater. So when we get it, we're so grateful. All right, let me pay a little attention to those beautiful onions, guys. All right, so those those garlic they they are looking good, mulched and nice. I just nine months might seem like a far way off guys but it's not real when you look at it it's really not because it's more than a year now that i started this channel and it seems like yesterday so time flies so they might look like this now but nine month time nine months time we're probably pulling up some massive heads of garlic who, who to tell yeah guys dream big with me Gosh, this one is looking so good. Guys, at least look at this one, look two, this three, four, five, six. At least no six, way. seven, eight, maybe nine. At least nine big onions I'll be getting from here. I'm certain I can count on those. I might be getting more, but they, they said don't count your eggs before they hatch, right? And guys, I planted these from seeds. If I've not told that story before. I planted these from seeds. And I've fed these before with this same rabbit manure. And I just keep topping up. But guys, they're looking just so gorgeous. I just can't believe how well they're doing in the heat because it has been hot guys and i enjoy using this rabbit manure because i don't have to worry about my plants getting burnt this doesn't burn the plant if they if it come in contact with them at all so i really enjoy using this the, the chicken manure we have to have it curing for a very long time and guys the rain is coming down again not going to complain i'm just going to hurry and get out of it so it can rain as really and truly we're happy for the rain we are happy for it there's some tiny ones over here that i planted um in succession uh, sometimes we don't get very good germination rate i didn't get a very good germination rate and so i just filled in the spots or the empty slots with some small ones that i planted after i planted the first set they're looking good Thing is, guys, when when we're gardening in containers, it makes no sense for us to plant things that we are not using. It's not practical because you don't have space to waste like that. So I tend to try and plant things that we use very often and every day. And this is one of them: onion, scallion, thyme, peppers. We use every day. Everything else we use, yes, but those four things are in almost every, well 
in every meal that we prepare on the stove. So I'm trying to get that going. And I'm going to try and get more of these things planted in the garden. Because the, when I say I grow 99% of what we eat out of the, what we eat fresh, the 1% is probably onion and garlic that we keep buying. Yeah. One of you told me not to take out the leaves and it makes a ton of sense because what I do know is that each leaf is responsible for one ring of the onion and if there's no leaf to feed it, energy. Oh, I have an extra one right here. Awesome. I have space for you. So if the leaf is not there to feed that particular um ring it's just going to dry up and turn into another layer of skin on the onion and we don't want skin we want we want onion rings right so i stopped taking them off thank you thank you for telling me that or for enlightening me because i wasn't thinking so deep i was just thinking green onions <laughs> so thank you guys for always giving me that the little nudge you know we all need that all right let me plant this onion i need something to make a hole oh. we all need that little nudge sometimes thank you guys all right so that's gonna be a whole other onion right there mm -hmm. that's how we roll right all right, I have, um, guys, I have something to show you before I wrap up this video. Hold on. Let me get my manure out of the rain so it don't wet up. Hold on, guys. I'm coming. Don't leave me. Don't leave me, guys. Don't leave me. As I told you not to leave me, where are you? All right, guys. So right here, I have my ginger. And the last time I harvested it, Guys, so many of you joined me recently, so you probably would not have been there. And YouTube, the thing is, your, your videos get lost. So if it was posted a while back, you won't see it on your feed necessarily, unless it's one of those videos that continue to run. And so you might not have seen my ginger harvest. When I harvested those gingers, I might have a picture so I can show you. Abby told me that they could, she's in Trinidad, she has a lovely garden in Trinidad, and she told me that I should have waited until the ginger flowered. Now I'm seeing something on it and I'm going to show you. And I believe in hindsight, I saw it on the one that I harvested. Because my harvest wasn't bad, as a matter of fact, it was a beautiful harvest. But come guys, let me just show you what I saw this morning on this ginger plant and it is starting to yellow and i don't know why because i know i feed it well you know think about it hold on again guys let me give it some of the feeding i i feed it well though but the leaves are the leaves are yellowing so i'm wondering if that's an indication that my ginger is ready already I have to check back because I don't remember how long ago that was. It has been a minute though. It has been a minute since I harvested them. But I have been feeding it. So I don't think it's lacking in anything. But it is yellowing. This is the same rabbit manure. I'm going to give it some more. Just in case it needs help. I am, guys, I'm playing dangerously because the rain is upon us. So let me quickly show you what's going on in here. If you should look right here, guys. Right here. Ooh. And there is another one. I am seeing something that looks different from the plants. 
So guys, let me know if that is what the ginger flower look like and if that's an indication that my ginger is ready. As if, if that is the case and the ginger is ready, guys, I had to run. What's the ginger right over there? Can you see it? Because it is now raining, proper raining outside. But if that is the case and the ginger, if they're ready, then we'll have a beautiful ginger harvest soon. The thing is, guys, I have gingers planted several places in the garden. So we are going to have a lot of ginger soon. And then I just replant. And that would probably explain why it is matured so quick if that is the case. And it's matured because I planted it from, I just took off the ginger and planted back the, a piece of the ginger plant. So that might be the case why it would be ready so soon. Yeah. Guys, the garden is loving the rain. Yes, so I I count my garlic a success already, even though it um, has not produced a, a, a harvest, so to speak. But just to see them doing this well at this stage, it's just a couple of weeks that they were planted and they're looking so, so good. I consider this growing garlic successfully. No. I am hoping and I am optimistic that I'll get a good harvest and this will encourage more of us in warmer climates to try growing garlic because we I am yet to find the individual that don't like garlic and it has so many benefits benef benefits health benefits it it's just endless this is our homegrown antibiotic garlic one of the best thing you could possibly put inside of your body so yes i consider this a success I'm growing garlic successfully guys appreciate you joining me and please stay with me on this journey as we take care of them and hope for a beautiful harvest i'm going to plant some more in the cooler season before it gets too hot again and get some going so i'm going to put some more in the fridge and in a couple of weeks before the year end i'll plant some more and then hopefully late next year we'll get some more garlic. And as I said, if I don't get big cloves and I, if I get one big onion sized clove of garlic, it's a success for me. So yes, we're grateful. And thank you guys for the support. Thank you for the, the vote of confidence in Marie. <laughs> some of you confident when I don't know what to be confident about. And I appreciate you so much. Thank you guys. All right, so I'll, I'll keep you posted. Until tomorrow, guys. Bye. For now. <laughs>